Wars have always been hotbeds for innovation, and when battles have been ranging for long enough, the craziest of ideas come to light. Like say, Toyota trucks with machine guns and rocket launchers in their beds, or even weaponized Tesla Cybertrucks. But none of these impromptu weapons platforms even come close to the impact a purpose-built one has. Defense contractor Oshkosh has been making military vehicles for ages, and one of its most impressive families of products is called Joint Light Tactical Vehicles or JLTV. Introduced just six years ago, the family continuously shows new capabilities, as it did last week at the US Army Global Force Symposium and Exposition. Oshkosh brought with it an impressive lineup of vehicles to the Von Braun Convention Center in Huntsville, Alabama, but you probably won't argue if I say this JLTV here is the most impressive of them all. The current JLTV lineup comprises a total of four variants, namely the heavy guns carrier, the utility, the close combat weapons carrier, and the hybrid electric. We're not told exactly which of the platforms forms the basis of a small combat vehicle designed to carry a multiple launch rocket system on its back. This setup has been envisioned for the US Marine Corps' remotely operated ground unit for Expeditionary Fires program, one that seeks to advance the deployment and use of autonomous technologies in support of combat operations. This was the first time ever that the Rogue Fires JLTV was shown with an MLRS installed on its back, in a move that demonstrates the vehicle's payload agnostic design, as the company making it likes to describe it. What that means is that the JLTV in this configuration is capable of performing both resupply and logistics operations, but also precision fire from afar. Oshkosh says the Rogue Fire's powertrain can be adapted to hybrid electric, and that will give it the ability to operate in some circumstances while being completely silent. As deployed on the hybrid electric JLTV, or EJLTV, the powertrain was introduced into the family back in 2022 and it is meant to serve the needs of the US. Army and Marine Corps, without making them dependent on a charging infrastructure, that's because the 30 kWh lithium-ion battery has been designed to charge on the go. The EJLTV offers 20% better fuel efficiency than the ICE-powered counterparts, while at the same time delivering the same level of protection and performance as the base JLTV. The defense contractor makes no mention on when we'll get to see the MLRS-equipped JLTV on the battlefield, but given how it was designed as a response to the transformation to the Army of 2030, later this decade would be a safe bet.